once you've finished your character, you're going to want to be able to bring the character into the scene. People who are used to 3D packages or certain other animation packages will be used to having characters brought into the scene as models. In open tunes, you do not actually use models. What you do is you will actually import the entire scene. So what you would generally do is you'd make your characters and make your cutout puppet in a scene, and then you would import that. And to import the cutout puppet, what we must do is we go to File, and we go to Load as sub -X Sheet. Now, generally, you would name your scenes which have characters more specifically than I have done here. But if I was to import the scene which I made with the character, it will give us the options to scale the character, but I will leave that as default. Now we see we have our character in the scene, and we see it has been brought into the scene as a sub -X sheet. And that is how you will import things into scenes. You will always basically import the entire scene. In order to organize it in the scene, I'll go to the schematic and I will place it under a peg. You do not have to place the character under a peg, but I would prefer to have the character scaled by a peg where the scaling isn't actually directly on the character. And pegs will also allow you to control the character's movement as a whole separately from the actual character animation. Okay, so now I'm just going to scale my character, and I'll just position it somewhere in the scene. Now, if I was to import another character, or even the same character, it would be the same process. And you do not have to import a character from within the same project. So for example, if I wanted to import from another project, um, go here to a different project, if I go to the scenes directory, all I need is the tunes file. If I was to import that, it would import that project in its entirety. Now to animate any of these characters, what you would do is you'd right click on the column in the X sheet and you would click on open sub X sheet and then you would animate the character in here and in order to see what's going on in the background we would use the toggle edit in place feature that would show you everything apart from this character that exists within the scene. So now we're going to look at another way of rigging the character. And there are two ways of approaching this kind of rig. And I'm going to show you the more complicated way of approaching it. Now if we take a look over here in the X sheet, what you'll see is I've returned the character to just the basic drawings. And what we're going to do is we're going to do most of the body basically as a single drawing. The drawbacks to this method are that when you are doing updates on drawings of the character, you will basically have to do updates for the entirety of the character at one go. You cannot update just individual parts, and it's an approach which is best suited for when the rig is entirely finalized before you start any animation, which is not the case with the character we've got here. Now, I've already said that we are going to put all the drawings onto one drawing, um, but there are a couple of exceptions. I am not going to do that with the head and any of the hair, and I'm also not going to do it with the hands. 
And the reason I'm not going to do it with the hands are that you are very often going to want to do replacement drawings on the hands. And while this is more complicated to use expressions to control the rotation of the hands, in terms of animating the hands, it is far easier if you are not using this method on the hands themselves. So for example, if I was to select the hand here and select the skeleton tool, the skeleton tool is on animate. We will get this widget over here, which will allow me to flip through any of the drawings on the hand. Now, first and foremost, you'd have to make these drawings separately for the entirety of the rig, and you would also have to make them so that both hands were doing mirrored actions and variants of the actions for every single drawing and every single variant in order to be able to use all the variants of the hands. So it is far more practical to keep the hands separately and use the expressions to control the rotation. And you cannot use this tool for flipping through the hands with the plastic rig itself. So we're just going to reorganize the rig quickly and then I will show you how we are going to turn it into a single drawing. Now we're going to turn these parts into a single drawing, but instead of taking all the parts and copying and pasting them onto a single layer, or moving the parts around and then merging the layers, we're going to turn them into a sub X sheet. And then we're going to access that sub X sheet. Our next step will be to separate the limbs from the torso, making sure that they no longer overlap. So that it looks like that. And then we're going to close the sub X sheet and we're going to now apply a mesh onto the sub X sheet. And as you'll see, it creates a mesh on all of the components which includes where they've moved to. Now, if the components were still overlapping, it would create a single mesh which made no allowance for the fact that they are separate components. So you need to separate them this, like this in order for this technique to work. And then what we'll do is we will build our skeleton. Now when we get to the shoulder here, what we're going to do is we're going to put another point on the arm where the shoulder will be, and then we are going to complete the arm. And there is a very important reason for that point to be there, and it is not a point which you will animate. Uh, you will animate this shoulder joint here. But this shoulder joint is actually necessary for this technique to work. Now, to animate this rig, you would basically go to animate, and we would then uncheck keep distance, and we would move the 
arms in towards the body. And the legs in. And then once we check once we've checked keep distance again, you can then animate the forward kinematics on the skeleton as you would with the other rig.